Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about torque. Now the thing about motors and generators, which is of course the name of the module, is that both of these are devices that rotate in the same way that a ferris wheel rotates. The thing is, if we're trying to rotate something, like a motor or a generator or a ferris wheel, we don't want the whole thing to move up or down or left or right or forward or backwards. We want it to turn. And we've learned plenty about forces, which are what cause movements, left and right and up and down and forward and back. But we haven't ever talked about forces can, how forces can cause the turning of an object. So if that, we're going to need a new quantity called torque. And that's what causes a ferris wheel or a motor or generator to spin. So motors and generators are both devices that rotate right, around some central axis when they're in operation. So far, we only know how to talk about straight lines, right? Velocity, acceleration, displacement. We don't t talk about the turning of objects until now. So we need a new quantity, a new thing like force or acceleration or velocity in order to, to describe the turning effect of a force, otherwise known as the turning moment. So the force that turns an object is called torque, right? Its magnitude is going to be proportional to the force that creates it, but it's not the same thing as force. Remember that force causes motion, uh, that is movement left or right, it causes displacement and acceleration, but torque does not. Torque causes rotation. It causes things like angular velocity or angular momentum. So the torque is not only dependent on the force that creates the torque, it is also dependent on where it applies to the object being turned. So we can imagine a spanner turning a bolt, right? This is the thing that turns. So we can use it uh, as a fantastic example to understand torque. We can see that uh, if we hold a spanner very far from the pivot point, it's quite easy to turn the spanner. But if we hold the spanner very, very close to the pivot point, it'll be almost impossible, especially if we're applying the force right on top of the pivot point. Right? That's not going to cause turning. So obviously, the distance between the pivot point and where we push on the spanner is going to make a difference to how much turning moment or torque it can produce. So torque is proportional to the distance between the point of application of the force and the pivot point that the object is turning around. So we can say torque, represented by tau, a Greek letter, equals d times f, where f is the magnitude of the force. 